Good morning, everybody. Uh, so today, you're not going to have a set assignment. Um, it's going to be kind of like Tuesday's lesson where I tell you about something that I want you guys to kind of work on and part of this assignment. And then um, we talk about um, what you can do. Uh, the, I will go ahead and post um, for the first lesson next week where you can go ahead and submit your paper. But remember that uh, for the first, for like next week, these lessons are not due until the Wednesday after that. So you have a lot of time. Um, if you haven't started, I do recommend you start. Um, but um, next Monday and Tuesday, there won't be a, a video. It'll just be a place for you to turn your paper. Um, between here and now, you can, um, between here and next, the Wednesday after next, um, you can um, send me your paper um, on Classroom. You can um, ask me to look over something. Um, you can submit it to me for a final draft and then say, can you look over this before I submit it for the real thing? Um, and I'll happily do that. Uh, but you have to ask me to look at it. Um, I have looked at the ones that you posted where you gave me your introduction. And some of you guys even wrote a couple of body paragraphs. Um, and so I have looked at those and gave you some suggestions. Don't forget um, that you need to double space that paper. Uh, 12, point, 12 point font times New Roman. What I've seen so far is really good. It looks like you guys really have taken this seriously. You found some good, good topics to write about. Um, just remember that, you know, we do want this to be a full paper. Uh, and so you want to make sure that you were giving um, the full story about whatever it is you're talking about. So today uh, is the last part of this. We're going to talk about conclusion writing. Um, and so on um, your paper, um, on your assignment paper, the, um, the last paragraph, the lesson paragraph is the conclusion. And so that's where you tell what the lesson was that you learned, um, reflecting on the experience and how it's changed you and then what you believe. Um, just sort of wrap things up. It's just a nice way to conclude everything. Um, and so what you want to think about is um, how has this lesson that I've learned um, stuck with me? Uh, the ones that I have read so far, the papers that I've read so far on the conclusions, it seems like you guys are kind of wrapping them up really quick. Uh, and so make sure you take the time to sort of really unpack some of that stuff. You just told a whole story about a lesson that you've learned. Um, but you want to make sure that you are fully explaining um, what it is that you've gotten out of this experience. Um, and so what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to show you my paper that we've been looking that you've had access to, uh, and I'm going to actually add to it um, while we're here, just so you can have an example. Okay, so I need to um, first off uh, the lesson that I learned. Okay, so So the lesson that I'm learning here is from this experience and many more experiences working alongside and for difficult people, I learned that the world is sometimes difficult. Um, not everyone is nice to you automatically, no matter how nice you are to them. Um, and I actually think I'm going to put in here, uh, not everyone is as considerate as you are to them. Um, and so, uh, now I have to talk about, let's see, how it's changed me. So I wouldn't say that it's changed me a whole lot. Um,
when I am um, I'm going to have to fix my own feelings and beliefs. Beliefs while understanding others may not be the same. So, not perfect, probably could edit it a little bit, all that jazz, but from this experience and many more experiences al working alongside and for difficult people, I learned that the world is sometimes difficult. I probably would change the word there, but we're not editing right now. Um, not everyone is nice to you automatically, no matter how nice you are to them. Not everyone is considered as you are, is as considerate as you are of them. And this lesson has served me well in every single job I've held since then. It is not necessarily this experience has changed my approach to others in a drastic way. However, I do find that I don't get upset when someone does immediately take to me or when I differ in opinion with someone else. Learning how to both respect my own feelings and beliefs while understanding that others may not do the same has served me incredibly well. This, I believe, everyone should work in a fast food restaurant. Um, and probably, if I'm editing this, I'm going to combine these two sentences somehow, but I have not had time to do that yet. Obviously, I just wrote that for you guys. Um, <clears throat> but when you're writing your conclusion, make sure that you're not selling yourself, try again, selling yourself short. Make sure that you are um, fully explaining what you learned and things like that. Um, so I'm going to look at the rubric with you really quickly, just so we have we're on the same page. So I'm looking for everybody in this column right here, this distinguished column. So 500 to 1,000 words. If you do um, a page and a half, that's plenty. That's enough words. But if you want to write more, write more. Um, I will never, ever penalize you for writing more than the assignment. Okay. Um, now writing less, yes. Uh, if you only give me a paragraph and I've asked for a whole paper, you're going to lose points. Um, so you can see right here that automatically knocks you down to this. And then if you don't have a whole lot going on, you're probably going to end up here in this novice category, which is not a good grade when you add it all up. Um, so um, organization, um, if you follow the plan that I've given you on this paper, um, and you go through each step and you do this, these things the way you're supposed to, you're going to be organized and you're going to be fine. Um, <clears throat> the language, um, if you are explaining what happened and you are using that emotional language and you are, um, you're giving a quote uh, or not a quote, but you're giving dialogue and you're giving imagery and you're explaining what it felt like to be in that situation and how you were in that situation, you're going to be fine. Um, and then the conventions and editing. So if I give you comments on your paper, Fix them. Um, and please remember that if I, I'm not going to go through every single time you don't capitalize I and highlight it because that's a lot of my time wasted. If I do it one time, it's your job to go through and make sure that those things are capitalized. If I highlight something like a proper noun, like a name or a place or a person, like a specific one, um, you always capitalize specific places. Now, if I said something like school, that's not capitalized. But if I said Marshall, that is capitalized. Um, I have Marshall on my shirt, if you can see or not. But make sure that when you're saying names of people, when you're saying places, you are capitalizing those things if they are specific people, specific places. Okay. Those are always capitalized. I know that a lot of times when you guys are talking to each other, um, you may not, you don't take time to capitalize. And that's okay. But when you're writing a formal paper for me or for a college professor or for anybody else, you have to do those little things. Um, I know that you know how to do them especially those of you who had me last year. Um, but I think sometimes you forget. So if I say it one time on your paper and I say, hey, you need to fix this problem, go through and fix it again. If you don't fix those things, you're going to lose points in this conviction, convictions, this conventions and editing section. Because if I've edited your paper, I've said, hey, these are some things that you could do to make this paper better. And you don't listen to those things. I'm going to count you off. Um, now, if I say I would suggest that's different. 
uh, cause I'm just telling you things that you can do. I, I highly advise you to do that cause it probably will make your paper better. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do those things. But if I tell you capitalize here, uh, move this sentence here, whatever it might be, then you should do that. You should listen to me. I'm the one grading your paper, telling you how to make it better so that you get a better grade. Um, so why wouldn't you do it? Right. So today is just a work day again. Um, you know, do your connection like always, but today is just a work day. Um, don't worry about the paper right now as far as getting it turned in. I'm going to go ahead for next week and put you a place where you can turn in your paper. Um, I highly advise against you turning that paper in unless I've looked at it because it might not be good. Um, and remember that you, if you haven't started yet, if you haven't done your introduction, you need to go back and do that first. Submit that introduction to me because that is an assignment. That is a grade. Um, and then uh, I don't think I've given you an opportunity to turn in your paper since then. But if you want me to look at it, you can submit it to that next assignment and I will look at it. Um, and if, if it seems to be OK, I'm going to tell you, OK, you're going to go ahead and get a grade. If I return it to you without a grade, I'll give you comments. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I'm going to start doing that this week, um, today and tomorrow, as soon as I see them um, and in the next week. So go work on your paper. If you have questions, you can always text or email me and um, wear your masks, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, stay home, and I will see you next week.